Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Buddy the 14th Prime. And today, we're going to discuss why the other day I went on this crazy hunt. Because a lot of y'all were like, hey, are you stupid? You know it doesn't come out until November. True. They always say that. They always say that. They always say, oh, it's going to drop. I'm, if I had listened to Amazon and Big Bad Toy Store and everybody else, I also would still be sitting here waiting on gears to show up. But luckily I found it the day I went to go on a hunt for it, which was, I've had gears for like two months now. Um, Amazon was saying, and everybody else was saying, oh, it ships August the 1st. I've had gears for about two months now. So that's why I went on the hunt for Megatron. When I went to Target, as they were resetting the shelves, like I literally stood there. I went to three, two different Targets. Both Targets, as I was standing there, the lady was un opening the cases and the boxes and putting out all the toys. Um, you'll, you will get to see Alphatron tomorrow because that was the one toy that I did say I was gonna buy because I do not have an Alphatron. And with a collection like this, you have to have Alphatron. I have Rung, which was close, but it wasn't Alphatron. And I wasn't gonna pay 70 for uh, the third party. I didn't want a third party. And then I wasn't gonna pay for one that was only three and a half inches. I'm cool with this Alphatron because it wasn't like he was the tallest person ever in the G1 show. And yes, he's going to be stylized because he's from TF1, but I still got him. But that's here nor there. The point is, Megatron is in your target. They do have it at target. It's the same thing like when they got Blaster years ago. It's the same as when they got um, all those other toys a few years ago where they have them. They just can't put them up because of the street date unless things change same with gamestop gamestop has a case of them also and again y'all might be saying well how do you know whatever because one i was standing there when she unpacked the cases like i literally just circled the same aisle and just as this lady was putting up the little one step changers and the little battle things with the little two circles you put your fingers in and they swing back and forth i almost bought one just but then my son saw this driving toy and i went and bought that for him and then we ended up leaving but the point is, Megatron is there. That's how I was able to get um, my Blaster City that I showed actually behind the short that I did yesterday of Soundwave. That Soundwave that's behind him from the Bumblebee movie retro set or whatever it was that turns into the little city was because I worked with a guy back then whose girlfriend was the manager of a Target. So when they got stuff, and she doesn't work there anymore, so it's, it's fine. It's not like she's going to get fired. Or they, I don't even think they're subscribed to my channel. But she called him. He called me and was like, hey, they got the Bumblebee tar up, what, up there. They can't sell it for two more months. And I was like, ring it up. So she did, and then she brought it out to the car for me, and I ended up having it, you know, three months before everybody else. So that's why I was on the hunt for Megatron. If you look at this guy, look at him. I mean, this is, I, I'm, I've said it many times before, and I'll say it again. We always get a bunch of Optimuses. We always get a bunch of Bumblebees. We get a bunch of everybody but Megatron. So that's why this is kind of a little bit of an important pickup for me, because I definitely want this guy. This is a, and it's not even, well, it's technically not even Megatron. It's D16. Um, I don't have an Orion Pax, which almost tempted me to get the Power of the Primes toy, but then I saw how awful it looks, and I'm not paying that just for to have that Orion. I'll just wait for Studio Series. It's not that important. It's like I barely do stop motions anymore, and if I do, it's just for fun. So, But this now is just from a collector's standpoint. And actually, now looking at it, yes, it does say Megatron on the box. It doesn't say D16. But either or, we know who this is supposed to be. Um, and I don't want to do the YOLO part. I don't do models. I got a model for Christmas that my son gave me. I love it. Doesn't transform, but I still love it here and over there. The point is, is that with um, this one, like I really, 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 I know I'm going to love the movie. I, I always love the villain. I'm a decept to death. Always will be. I, it's just, it's Megatron. You know what I mean? It's, a, it's the one guy that they barely make, that they hardly ever sell. He doesn't get a lot of love. He doesn't. While I'm sitting here waiting on the, the reveal of um, Studio Series 86 Megatron, I'm biting my nails, hoping that they keep it, you know, keep it 86. Because he was not a tank in 86. But this one is different. This isn't the Siege mold. This isn't 
the Cyberverse mold. This isn't the mold from, you know, all the other ones that we've gotten so far, which basically have just been Siege over and over and over. It's a Cybertronian tank. And even though it does have the aesthetics of, like, the Evergreen toys or whatever, yet there's, like, a little bit of, of like, Super Megatron thrown in a little bit here and there with the reds and the hips. Um, I just, I, I don't know. It's something about this one that I feel like he needs to be on my shelf. And I know I keep saying it and I keep saying it and I, I'm going to fall in love with this movie. And then when they start doing the real studio series releases, then I'll probably circle back and uh, get all of them and just make a small shelf of whoever that they put in this movie. But now that I know that there's over 75 Transformers in the Transformers 1 movie, now I can only think, like, are they going to make everybody that was in the movie? Is it, or is it going to trickle out slowly, like with the Bumblebee movie, where you just get, you know, the Seekers, Bumblebee, Prime, Shockwave. You know what I mean? But that was pretty much, you know, and, and then they did slowly get, you got Braun, you got RC, you got everybody else slowly. So you know they're going to do the same thing with this movie. But again, my question is, if, if, is if there are 75 indeed confirmed robots in this movie, when y'all gonna drop them 75? Shibuya the 14th Prime. 